everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Christopher if you are new here, and if you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning, and organization, look no further my friends, because this place is for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button, and while you're at it, if you're gonna hang out with me here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram. I post over there daily, and it is a great way to connect and get to know each other a little bit better. Today I am bringing you my September favorites and I have everything from skincare to beauty to fragrances to accessories to tech to books to shoes. I have a little bit of everything so there's going to be something for you here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into all the things that I've been loving this September. The first thing I want to talk about is actually a fragrance that I had bought a while back but never used. And now that we're moving into fall, I've pulled it back out and I have fallen in love. And it's at such a great price point. It's by Demeter Fragrance Library and this scent is called Bonfire. And I don't know how Demeter does it, but it literally smells like a bonfire. You have like a smoky, woodsy, spicy smell that just, ugh, oh, it screams fall. I am in love with it. A great thing about Demeter is they're very good for layering. Um, I haven't been layering this one because I don't feel like it needs anything added to it. But if you're looking for something smoky and warm for fall, this is a great option. And like I said, the price point is so, so good. And like everything in my favorite videos, everything that I talk about today is going to be linked down below. But definitely go check out Demeter's Bonfire. It's a really great fragrance and I am enjoying it. The next item I want to talk about is uh, one that I have been reaching for all September. And that is the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. This is is not anything that is full coverage, but it does give your skin a really nice, healthy, even coloring, and I just really like it. For those who have watched me for a while, you know that I always reach for my By Terry Cellurose and Apricot, which is a skin treatment that has a light tint to it. I have been reaching for this instead of that. This doesn't have the skincare components to it. I've been reaching for this instead because it still gives me that really light coverage and just evens out my skin tone and makes my skin look really, really healthy for a fraction of the cost. Now, don't get me wrong. I will always go back to buy Terry Cellurose. But for the month of September, I've really been loving this. Another thing that I have loved the entire month of September is the Milk Face Gloss. It comes in a very small tube, but it goes a very long way. It is a gel that dries down really easily, really quickly, and it's not tacky. By tapping it into your skin, um, it gives your skin a really healthy glow that looks super natural and literally like you just like stepped outside with like perfectly glowing skin. Um, I like to put this like right above my cheekbone and oftentimes like right on my eyebrow bone um, because it just gives your skin like a really fresh look. And like I said, it's not tacky, it dries down quick and it just looks extremely, extremely natural. I have been loving this all month long. Now, so many of you in previous vlogs have talked about how good my skin has looked. And I believe it is due to one product that I introduced a couple months ago and have been using religiously. It lasts a really long time. Um, I actually just got my second one because my other one is getting pretty small and <laughs> pretty gross looking, so I thought I'd get a new one to share with you today, but that is the Fresh Umbrian Clay Purifying Treatment Bar. This is for normal to oily skin. It is made from Umbrian Clay in Italy, I believe, um, and it literally is like a perfect block of clay. I'm gonna go ahead and open it because I'm ready to start this one anyway. What's great is this can be used two different ways. You can use it as a cleansing bar, which is how I usually use it. I use it once in the morning, once in the evening, just lather it up, you rub it in and let it soak into the skin. Or you can use it as a mask, which I don't do as much, but once again, you can layer it on, lather it up, and then let it dry down and use it as a mask. This is known to take out impurities from your skin, and I have simply loved it. I also found that it really helps because I do tend to get pretty oily, and this has really made a difference in my skin, and a lot of you have noticed. So I give this a lot of praise. It is a little costly, but once again, lasts a really, really long time. Like this is my second bar, and I've been using it 
pretty religiously since I'd say like end of July, beginning of July. So it's lasted me a long time. I recommend it. It's by Fresh. All their products are great, but this is probably my favorite. The next thing I want to talk about is an accessory that I have not taken off the entire month of September, whether I'm at the gym, whether I'm at work, whether I'm going to sleep, whether I'm showering. I literally do not take them off. I love them so much and so many people have asked me about them and there's two reasons why I love it. A, it is from my favorite YouTuber and friend Haley K. Rose, May Movement. It is an empowering um, program that she has put together to really inspire and help people accomplish all of their goals. But she works with Aid Through Trade um, with women and men of Nepal who make these beautiful bracelets. They are roll-on style and what it allows is equal money and opportunities for all the people who make the bracelets so that they get what they deserve for the craftsmanship of their bracelets. So I have one in storm gray. I also have one in black. I will be honest with you, the black one is kind of the one that I go to constantly. They are beautiful. They are my favorite accessory. I love them so much. I wanna buy a couple more. And yeah, I will leave them linked down below. It goes to a great cause um, and to great people. And they are also just stunning and I love them. Oh, I love them. And you will too, so go check them out. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about a tech favorite of mine this month. I talked in my last favorites video about falling in love with pop sockets. I have also fallen in love with the pop socket car holder. So I'm gonna link a video somewhere right here of how it works, but I have bought the car attachment for the pop socket and it has been a game changer and I'm madly in love with it. The other thing that I'm loving is this case on my iPhone. It is the most protective case and it is super, super thin. It adds no bulk to your phone. I don't remember the brand, but I'm going to leave it linked down below for you. This is the dark blue color. I am in love with it. It's super clean, really simple, and so thin that you can still slide this in your pocket. It's just a really great phone cover. And I love a phone cover that goes around all corners of your phone, so it's really protected as well. Next Next, I need to talk about two home decor favorites that in September I have loved. One is behind me. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but these pumpkins right here are from Pottery Barn. I also posted pictures of them on my Instagram. They are absolutely beautiful. I talk about them a little bit more in a fall decor collaborative video I shot. I'll make sure to leave that link down below, but they are absolutely stunning. I enjoy lighting them up every evening and just in Oh, I love them. They're a really great take on typical fall decor without adding a ton of color because my house is pretty neutral and I stuck very neutral for my fall decorations, which you'll see in that video if you check it out, but I'm in love with them. They're made from recycled glass. They are hand blown, so every pumpkin is slightly different. So that's part of the fun at Pottery Barn is picking out the one that you like the most because they all have a little bit of cork to them, but definitely a September favorite. And another home September favorite is this DW Home Candle in Pumpkin Allspice. It is fall perfection. If you like pumpkin, if you like spice, if you like warmth, and it's September, so who doesn't like pumpkin spice anything? Um, this is a great, great candle. I'm gonna leave it linked down below, but I found mine at Home Goods where they had probably a dozen of them. Um, it's Fantastic. It's three wicked, which I really like, and it just is delicious. And I love this gold lid and the very nice matte orange color to it. Um, but yes, this is my go-to candle this month. You guys always request book favorites, so I have two for the month of September, and I am going to be filming a full book video where I talk about my favorite books that will be coming in October. Um, but one of my favorite books this month was Fierce Kingdom by Jen Phillips. It is an awesome suspense story. It is about a mother and her son. They are about to leave the zoo when they witness some shooting in the parking lot and they run back into the zoo trying to escape the killers and it's all about them in the zoo, this relationship between mother and son, and the mother's instincts to protect her child. Really good, it was a page turner. I read it in two days. It's fantastic, I highly recommend it, I love it. 
Um, I also have seen it at Target a lot. So if you want to pick it up and not at Amazon and you're walking through Target, they have it there. But it's a great book. And now it is time for one of my favorite books that I've read in a very long time. Um, oh, you guys know how much I talk about The Underground Railroad being one of my favorite books. This has also become one of my favorite books, and that is The Hate You Give. It is about a 16-year-old girl named Star Carter, and um, she lives a very interesting life from being in a poor black neighborhood and then going to a fancy prep suburban school during the day. So she kind of lives within these two realms. So there's that very interesting social aspect of it all. <clears throat> But what really takes place is she witnesses the shooting of one of her best friends. It's just a great book. Uh, very much like The Underground Railroad, I feel like this is a book that everyone should read. I think it is eye-opening. I think especially in the times that we live in, uh, I think this sheds light on some very important things. And it's told in a really authentic voice. And I think that every high school should be reading this. I think that every adult should be reading this. Um, I think it's one of the most important books of 2017, and I hope lots of people read it, and I hope some people are impacted um, in the way that it impacted me. Um, it's just fantastic. Not only um, in the times we lived does it become so relevant, um, but it's also just such a beautifully written book. Buy this. This will be the book this year that I'm giving to all of my friends, just like I gave, I think, a dozen, I think I gave 12 copies of The Underground Railroad away. Um, this one, if my friends are watching, all of you will be receiving this. It's fantastic. I do have two fashion favorites this month, and uh, for all of you who follow me, know that I recently just ran a marathon relay with a team, and I've kind of reignited this love for running. So I splurged on a new pair of running shoes, and these are the Lunar Epic Fly Knits by Nike. They are the most comfortable running shoes. It is literally like running on clouds. I love them so much. I can feel the give in them even when I'm just walking on them. Um, they're just a fantastic shoe, super breathable, super comfortable. And plus, let's talk about like this gray fly knit with all these awesome colors so they go with everything. It's just a really awesome shoe. It's super flexible, so breaking it in was very easy. I just ran eight miles on them, and yeah, I love them so much. They're so wonderful. Um, I'm wearing them to the gym, I'm wearing them for runs, I'm wearing them basically everywhere I can because I love them so much. They also look really cute with a pair of cuff jeans and a sweater. Yeah, they're great. Check out Nike Fly Knits, especially these Lunar Epic ones. I'm in love. And lastly, I always have, or at least always try to incorporate a bag favorite. And oddly enough, a bag that I complained about in a work uh, in a work bag video has gone into rotation in September, and I really liked it. And that is my Goyard St. Louis, and this is in the large size. This bag has become a favorite of mine. First of all, I love that I have the black with that grayish beige and white graphic design. Um, it, they are hand painted, they're super high quality. What I have always despised about them is how floppy they are. So I did, like I do for all my bags, purchase the Samorga organizer. Um, and what I found is that gave me all the organization and structure I needed um, to really start to love this bag again. And I have been using it nonstop. And yeah, I've loved it. And it's been a great bag. I only wish that there was some sort of closure on it because I do sometimes have it fall in my car and everything is all over the place. But this has been my go-to bag for September. And I think I'm gonna keep it in the rotation for October. But this was sitting up on my shelf, I pulled it down and to my surprise, adding the Samorga really gave it the structure and the organization that I had been missing. So yeah, I have been loving this bag this month. So those are my September favorites. I hope you found something that you like. If you have any questions about anything, first, they'll all be linked down below and just ask me a question. I will get back to you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribed if you haven't already, and I will leave this video like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, my friends. Give it to everyone.